Hello lovely people. Today I am coming at you. That sounds weird. Today I have a haul, a beauty haul. Um, not everything is from Sephora, but I just put it all in this Sephora bag. And just letting you guys know, this bag is way heavier than it should be. Which means I bought too much, which means I spent too much money, which means I am going to go broke. I'm just kidding, I'm not going to go broke. But I got a ton of stuff, and this is collective, so I made one, or I was in the store and I bought a couple of things. Um, I made a couple of different trips to the drugstore, and then my Sephora package arrived. So, there's a decent amount of stuff in here, so I'm just going to get started with what I got. Ooh. Um, a few, like, I think it was actually two or three weeks ago, but it, there are two things that I got. And the first thing is the Benefit Primping with the Stars uh, book kind of thing, kit, and I seriously, like, this is one of my best purchases that I have ever purchased, um, this is filled, all the things that it has in it is the Benefit Stain on Stray Concealer, which I love, I use it almost every day, and, um, I ran out of my other one, so I was, I was so glad that I saw this in this kit, which I was already going to buy, and then the next thing is this Some Kind of Gorgeous Concealer, but I can't wear this. It's a shade. It's a cup. It's a little too dark for me because this is in medium, and I definitely have very light skin. Um, it came with the Benetint. Uh, it came. Oh, it, if you guys don't know, Benetint is a um, it's like a what's it called? Oh, it's like a primer or not a primer. What am I talking about? It's a tint. Um, it's kind of a lip and cheek stain, and then it came with the Benefit Their Real Mascara, which I was so excited about. And then it also came with the Benefit Professional and the Girl Meets Pearl. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, I wanted to purchase this, but I just couldn't really justify spending like $23 on a mascara that I didn't even know if I was going to like or not. So I was really glad that the Their Real Mascara was in here. And also, this Girl Meets Pearl is so awesome. I had never used it before, and I just became obsessed with it. Like some, A lot of times I will put it on before I put on my foundation, like right here, so that once I put on my foundation, this whole area is just glowy and a little shimmery, and I just love this so much. Once I run out of this, I will probably end up buying it the full size, and then the Professional, I had a sample of, and I really liked it, so I was glad it was in here. I probably won't be purchasing the full size of this once I finish this, just because I feel like it's a really great primer, but I just have so many primers, and there's so many out there, and I just like trying a bunch of new primers. The next thing that I bought is the Naked Basics palette. I have the Naked 2 palette. I do not own the Naked 1 palette. Um, but I am seriously so glad that I bought this. It was $26. I was a little bit like, some of the colors in here are pretty similar to ones in the, um, in the, uh, Naked 2 palette, but I am just so excited. It's the perfect size for traveling. I'm going on vacation. I'm leaving this Saturday. Super excited about this purchase, and I've gotten a ton of use out of it already. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what I got for my CVS, um, a couple of days ago. I think it was, like, last... Actually, it might have been, like, last Sunday-ish, maybe. I don't know. Um, but I will just show you guys what I got, and then I'll show you the rest of my Sephora stuff. So the first thing that I got from the drugstore were these two foundations. Um, it is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 110, and the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 in 805. So these, oh, and I'm pretty sure these have names. Yeah, this is porcelain, the Fit Me is in porcelain, and then this one is in ivory. And I love both of these. I like the CoverGirl one a little bit more, and I actually did a review on the Maybelline one just because I feel like there's not that many reviews. There's a ton of this one, so that's why I didn't want to do it. I knew I wanted to do a review on one of these, so you guys should go check out my Maybelline Fit Me Mas or not Mascara, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation video or rev review, which I will link in the down bar below. But this is really great. You can learn about everything that I've used it for. And this foundation is the one that I am wearing today. I love this so much. Like, I can see me, myself, repurchasing this so many times over and over because they have a really wide color selection as well. And more than anything, it just makes me so happy when I find my right color the first time I buy something. Like, this, it's my perfect shade. Like, literally the most perfect shade. I'm sorry, guys, my heater is being really loud. It, like, hisses. It's weird. It's, it's strange. But, anywho, I just am so... This is one of my best purchases, I think. Like, I just... No, just, it's amazing. You should go out and buy this. It's supposed to be a primer, what is it? Um, the last, here, I'll just read what the back says. It says, all day flawless coverage, lasting power of primer, coverage of a concealer, and bendability of a foundation in one. Shine free. So, 
I would definitely agree with everything that it says on the back. This is a really great product. This was, I believe this was $13 or $14. I think it was $12.99. And then the Fit Me was $8.99. So I just think these are both pretty good deals. Um, and I do like how this one has a pump. So that is the two foundations that I got. Um, the next thing I got from my CVS was a nail polish. I am so excited about this. My nails look disgusting right now. But, um... I am just so excited to wear this. I'm actually hopefully going to put this on soon so that my nails are all beautiful and ready for vacation. Um, but this is like the most beautiful SE color. It is in, it has a weird name. It's Avenue Maintain. Like I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But it is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous like medium um, periwinkle color. It's a little more blue than purple but it's just, I just, it's gorgeous. a lovely sunscreen for your face to wear under my makeup when I go on vacation. This is the CeraVe or CeraVe. I, I think it's Cer Cer CeraVe. That's usually how I say it. Um, it's a sunscreen face lotion with SPF 50. I need a high SPF 50 or higher just because my skin is so, like, it gets burnt really, really easily. Or I, like, freckle. Like, my, yeah, my face gets so freckly during the summer. So be expecting that later on. Um, and it is invisible zinc, lightweight, and oil-free, and water-resistant for up to 80 minutes, which sounds like not that long, but I'm not necessarily, I'm not really going swimming. Um, I haven't taken this out yet, but I will for you guys. Oh, it's cute. Um, it's just this cute little packaging. Actually, the packaging is really nice. It's kind of like matte, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of times it's, like, shiny and glossy, but this is, like, a matte kind of, yeah. So it comes, comes in a box. Yeah, and I think this was more expensive. I don't exactly remember. I think it was like 13 which I mean I guess isn't super expensive, but for a sunscreen that's only that much, but it's for your face. So I think it'll be worth it. And then the last thing that I got, I am so, so, so I can't even describe to you how excited I am. I actually made a lot of really good purchases in this haul, so be proud of me. It is Nivea Lip Butter in Caramel Cream Kiss. Okay, and this is all of the stuff that I got in my most recent Sephora package. We'll just get into it. So, the first thing that I got is, I'm just going to set this up here, sorry guys. First thing that I got was the very first thing that I added in my cart, and I'm so excited, and I just, I can't even tell you, and I think I'm going to do a tutorial using this, a makeup tutorial, but it is the Sephora Plus Pantone Universe Palette, and it's the Metallics Precious Metals Shadow Palette. It has 34 shadows. They're all so gorgeous. And let me know if you guys are interested in a swatch video for this. Um, this was $27 on Sephora.com and it was on sale. I don't exactly know what the um, original price was, but I thought this was so worth $27. Like, uh, the next thing that I got is, oh, another sale item. Actually, I got a lot of sale items. Like, a lot of times I'll search sale in Sephora.com and then I will um, just kind of look through all that good stuff. But it is a buxom lip something in Isabella. I'm pretty sure that's the only, hmm, I think that's what it is. Isabella. So this is what the box looks like. It comes in the most cute, the cutest box ever, the most cute. And whenever you open up the packaging, this is my first Buxom lip gloss. I'm actually going to put it on right now. It's so awesome. It makes your lips like tingle if I can get it out of the box. Um, this is what it looks like. It is the most sleek and gorgeous packaging. I'm a little bit obsessed. This was $10 on sale. I don't know how much they normally are, but I thought it was worth $10 for sure. $10. And then the next thing that I got was the Clean On Me Body Wash. I am so, so excited to use this, guys. You don't, you, you just, you don't even know. It's just, I'm just so, so excited. Um, I have heard so many good things about this. I have not smelled it yet. I'll let you guys know what I think of this. I've just heard so many people talking so well about Next this. Thing, actually, there's only a couple more things. I will show you. So, this was also on sale. <laughs> it is the Sephora Doe-Eyed Eyeliner. Oh, it's two in one? Well, honestly, it's not very good. So, it's like no... There's literally no eyeliner in here. It was like $5, and I'm a little annoyed about it. I'm probably going to go try to return it. But, like, it's, it was, like, $5. I haven't even used it once. All I did was swatch it on my hand like this. And there's literally, actually, there's none in here. Like, it's not cool. Look at that. It's, like, showing up gray. That is not okay. And then once you, like, try to, like, fix it, I don't know. That's really annoying. I should go get that because it's showing up, like, gray. Like, look at that. That's not cool. I'll have to go see about that. But that was $5. This is not worth $5. 
By the way, I forgot to say, but this clean on me was um, $16. Um, moving on to the last thing. Actually, no, it's not the last thing. It's very close to the last thing I got. It is this coal eyeliner, um, smoky coal eyeliner in lilac. And it's just the Sephora brand. This is what it's supposed to look like. Um, it's actually, it was only $3. And I feel like it's a really good value. But um, it's this really cute purple like eyeliner kind of color and whenever I first got it I was hoping I might actually be able to use it as like a sorry I'm just watching it for you guys can you see that it's like right here it's very shimmery purple you see it? I don't think you can but it's like a really light la lilac purple um but when I first got this I knew I was gonna use that as an inner quarter thing but then once I started like messing around with it, it actually works pretty nicely for like a cream shadow. Okay, the last thing that I got, and then I will show you my samples that I got, was a birthday gift um, from a certain time, like two weeks before and then like two weeks after your birthday, you get like a free birthday gift of your choice. Um, the choices that I had were the, it was actually a really good benefit one, and it was the What's Up thing, it's like a highlighter, or the, um, and the, um, what's it called? Their Real Mascara, and um, I already had their, their Real Mascara, and I wasn't necessarily like crazy interested in trying the Watts Up, so I got the other one, and it is the Fresh Sugar Kisses Mint Lip Duo, and this is what it looks like, I think it's so cute, this is the packaging, and it came with these little baby um, lip chapsticks, and I just think these are the most cute things I've ever seen in my life. Um, this one is just a plain, like clear regular chapstick and it smells like lemons like it's amazing and then the other one is uh, okay sorry I thought I was like killing it um and then the other thing that I got is the sugar rose one which came in it as well and it's like a tinted chapstick and I just think this is really cute it actually shows up pretty pigmented on your lips and that's a couple swipes of it I don't know if you can really see very well but it's like over here right there so and I really, really like this Sugar Rose one. Um, if I get enough good use out of it and I actually finish this, I'm probably going to end up buying the full size of it just because it works really, really nicely. And this was just a free gift, so thank you, Sephora. But everybody can get these as long as you're a VIB. So I'm actually really excited about these. And then Sephora was having this, like, five samples instead of three free samples. Um, like, not giveaway. What am I saying? Like, a special thing like they always have something like that going on on the website so they gave you five samples and they came in this like clear pl plastic bag that has the Sephora logo on it so I just wanted to show you guys that I thought it was cute so I will just show you what I got I got five samples as I just said you know and ooh, the first one that I got most of these are like skincare but uh the first one that I got is a NARS oil free primer a pore refining primer so I'm excited to try this. I just was excited to see something by NARS in there. NARS almost never has like samples in there. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but so I got that sample. Um, the next one that I got is the Bo oh this one I'm excited about. It's a Bobbi Brown hydrating face cream, and this is just what it looks like. Um, yeah, I can't. I don't really have that much to say about these because I haven't tried them yet. Um, the next one I was like the first thing, the first sample that I added. It's an even better eyes dark cir circle corrector by Clinique, and my dark circles have just been terrible. Like they, I've got, I've gotten a lot more like wrinkles and dark circles under my eyes. I always have had them, and I'm not, I don't really, I, I'm assuming it's like a hereditary thing because I don't like, I get a decent amount of sleep every night, so. I don't know. I'm assuming it's hereditary, but it's just... Okay, I gotta go fast because my memory is dying. But anyways, it's the Coors Wild Rose and Vitamin C Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. And I think this is just like a lotion that you use, but I'm not positive. Um, yeah, I think it's just a lotion. So I'm excited to try this. And then the very last one that I got... Sorry, guys, I'm talking really, really fast. But it is the Illusion Ivory Tinted Moisturizer, and it is oil-free. So I'm actually really excited. Oh, it's by Hourglass, I think is the brand. I'm actually really excited to try this. I'm just hoping it's my color. That's it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was rather long and rather large. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, like this video down below if you did enjoy watching it. And thank you guys for watching. Bye.